English Lit coursework, I have currently just finished reading The Fifth Child by Doris Lessing. Um, after seeing the film Rosemary's Baby previously, I couldn't help but make links between them as I read the book. Although The Fifth Child was published in 1988 and Rosemary's Baby in 1968, it's clear that it could be argued that in fact Doris Lessing was influenced by Rosemary's Baby in creating her plot. Um, both are described as fairy tales turned sour online in forums, and although there are differences in particular plot lines, the overall plot is quite similar. The difference, differences are, in The Fifth Child, the baby wasn't classified as the devil's baby as it was in um, Rosemary's Baby, but it's clear that in The Fifth Child, the baby isn't normal, it doesn't fit into society, and kind of disrupts family life. Um, However, there are many similarities. Both of the texts and um, films start off in being quite a fairy tale environment. So you've got in The Fifth Child, this new family moving into a house, just as you have in Rosemary's Baby. You've got Rosemary and Guy very happy moving into a house, planning on starting a family. Um, then at each of the ends of each plot, um, the mother in The Fifth Child rescues her unusual child from um, an institution where he has been locked away, just as Rosemary basically starts becoming maternal towards her baby, although it's also the devil's baby. Despite the context and whether Lesson was influenced by the film, it's clear to say that the idea of living among um, such occurrences where pregnancy is at the centre of fear would scare any maternal female, because the unknown is inevitable until birth. Just from two different types of entertainment, so from literature to film, um, I've looked into the way that these plots are ex executed uh, to scare and make the question, make the audience question themselves. And by doing so, both the book and the film seem to do so in the same way.